Super Revolution! Do you have any idea how many freaking ladies have been after me ever, ever since I got this swagged out haircut mohawk? A lot. So let's review Igor's newest album, Spirituality and Distortion. For those of you who do not know Igor, this is one of the weirdest, craziest, funkiest music projects you will hear in the past 10, 15 years, combining all sorts of elements. You really, you really wouldn't even imagine would go together very well. Sometimes it's just this cr just chaotic, like break core meets metal, meets classical music, meets goofy, funny, weird sounds. And it's just like, what the hell? It's just like, just super experimental, um, but kinda cool, I guess. So let's see what the hell Igor is up to. Now, newest album, Spirituality and Distortion. Let's start by taking a look at the album cover. Well, this is an interesting album cover. Not entirely sure what is going on here. It looks like it's probably set in like the Middle East or some sort of desert or like something like that. And everyone's kind of looking at this strange tree creature figure in the middle of the album cover. Kind of jarring. I don't really know what I'm looking at but not the first jarring Igor album cover, if I do say so myself. So let's talk about the freaking music. Igor, what is he doing here? Well, Igor I would primarily classify as usually an electronic project. This is, Igor is one person, by the way. Primarily electronic project, this is the way it's messing around with like break core and weird sounds and instruments and stuff. It just, it just feels like very art, artificial in a way an electronic album does compared to rock. But this album I would say is primarily a metal album. This is primarily metal with break core and classical elements supplementing it, which is pretty darn cool and it works. It's, it, it actually comes together in a way that's very cohesive and accessible in my opinion compared to some of Igor's previous releases. And that's pretty darn cool and the metal is real meaty. I just like I, I you know I just can, I can just tell he's put a lot of compression on the 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 kick drum and the guitar is just chugging away. Feels real meaty. And then of course the meaty metal combines with the break core, which is a ton of fun. Almost a little bit cheesy in a way. Like the the you, know, you can hear like a bass drop like pew, and then all of a sudden there goes the the freaking break core starts. Cheesy honestly, but freaking fun. Who doesn't like it? And that might sound kind of abrasive to you to combine this meaty heavy metal combining with the freaking, you know, break core, which is certainly very chaotic, like... <laughs> but, frankly, this album does not feel very abrasive at all. It's actually found, I found it pretty easy to sit down and listen through the whole thing, and pretty darn enjoyable at that. Um, I don't really know, like, I think what's going on here is, like, there's more classical influences driving this album than what initially meets the eye. You listen to the like the beautiful vocals which are like opera, kind of like a prayer almost, and lots of string sections which is really beautiful. Kind of reminds me a bit of like Venetian Snares, whatever the name of that album is that kind of combines break core and classical in a way that's, you know, like it's kind of beautiful. It, this album is actually kind of beautiful which is something kind of strange you wouldn't really expect from Igor because he's always so fucking weird with his music and that's pretty darn that's a pretty nice achievement to combine these elements together in a way that feels cohesive not clashing together even though they're really bizarre things to combine together and in a way that just kind of it's it's like it's like it's not annoying it works it's it's like a smooth album to listen to surprisingly and that's really cool and i love the i love the kind of like arabic classical music influence or whatever i'm not really sure but it's it's i mean there's one track here which is really freaking dope it's like a freaking accordion playing and then there's like a metal blast beat playing behind it and it just works really well lots of weird fun experimentations going on throughout this album even though this is igor's one of his most accessible albums in my opinion which is not necessarily a bad thing at all because igor is still very experimental even at his most accessible anyways i'm giving this a 7.7 out of 10 really had fun with it Felt maybe it was a little too long. I felt like by the end of the album, I felt like I had heard all his ideas already and he was just kind of like rehashing some same ideas just that I didn't really necessarily need a whole hour of. Could, this album could have been trimmed a bit, but pretty cool. Um, weird stuff, man. I don't really know. 7.7 .7. Igor is a quite an interesting artist. That is for sure. Check out my do. Thank you to whoever commented on my last video saying my haircut was uh, fresh or um, I don't know what you said, but it was really nice. Thank you. Pump Revolution now.